Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we got our co-host h and Trader in the building. What's happening now? Man, nothing much, man. Big things happen today without me. <laughs> without you. So it's time <laughs> for the last rip. We're going to recap some of our trades and see what big things happened without how. If you haven't yet, go check out FrameworkFortune.com. Sign up. It's free. Now let's dive into the SPY. SPY uh, not looking too good here to me. It's got this little double top here starting to form. Now it could pop up tomorrow and it's not be a double top, but I, I think we're going to pull back again. Yeah. We've been seeing a lot of choppiness in the market. Maybe the SPY will be choppy as well because we've seen multiple times where it looks like it's going to dip and it just shoots. Yeah. So, like I, like I was telling you, I think it's going to be up to 475 soon. <laughs> yeah, 475. Yeah, we'll see. It might get up there. That's only that's only five more dollars, and then that would be a nice level for it to just dump from. But the way it's moving the last two days, it's been pulling back pretty decently. We'll see. I, I, don't, I don't think tomorrow is going to be much better. But I don't know. I, I, I heard there was some rips that happened after I got done streaming this morning. So let's go ahead and hop into those. It's been a slow week so far. So uh, we I think we both traded MULN. Nice and, little catalyst. Yeah, nice Everything catalyst. Everything looking right on this one. Yep, yeah, nice uptrend. And uh, I got in right there, shot up. I was looking for it to just keep climbing this trend line, cracked, and took a $15 loss, was a stop loss. My entry on uh, MULN was 14 49 was the first entry. So you got it right through here. Yeah. And then I took some off and then I added back on the 1495 for the break of the 15. Okay. And then um, it dipped down on that red candle and I bought the dip down there at the 1490 ish or something like that. 1492 on that red candle when it started getting that little buying pressure back in there. And I caught the rest yeah. of that rip and sold the top. Yeah, very nice. And then after that, it just dumped and sold off the rest of the day. So. That's kind of what we've been seeing a lot of this week. A lot of failed breakouts. And then even the daily chart looks good on this one. Just strong resistance at that 15 area, whether it's a downtrend or to the side. But good, you played it right. But yeah, just couldn't get a breakout. I thought it had room up to the 20, but... Well, I mean, at least the high, the pre-market high at 16.50. And once it failed to get up there, it started having trouble down here with that mm -hmm. kind of news and that kind of float. I was like, yep, let's go ahead and start cutting it. Yeah, because this was a very low float, only 5 million shares outstanding. Um, and then what else? So you were green on that one. I'm red on that one. I was red on all my trades today. E-L-Z-E. Oh, yeah, was another Blaze. one that yeah. I entered at, um, let's see, where's my first entry? My first entry on Blaze was 33.10. 33.10. So you got in about right here at the bottom of these. Yeah. So so I didn't trade the first these first couple of candles, though. I um, didn't enter until it, so it came up to VWAP, that first little, come back over to the right some. Yeah, yeah, right over there. So it tested the VWAP right here, and I was like, all right, well, I'll let it come back down. It came back down into this dip and got a little W formation there, came back up to the VWAP up here, and I was like, all right, I'm looking for the break. And this is where I entered that 310 um, for the break of the VWAP, wherever 310 is on this candle. Three, 30, that's 30, 30, 30. It was probably that dip down there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's right kind of in right there. in the middle, yeah. Yeah. So that's where I was entering, and it was right on VWAP. I said, all right, either it's going to push through or it's going to fail. And so I just cut my losses quick on this one. Once I saw that that uh, red, just oh, went yeah. ahead and get that out. Yeah, and then that one could sold off the rest of the day. Yep. Then the next one was BKKT, the night. Yeah, BKKT got me as well. This was a bigger loss for me. This was $30. Man, that thing moved down so hard. I was like, what in the world? It had these long, it had these long wicks, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, that's some good buying pressure right there on the trend line." I had one entry at twenty thirty five, wherever twenty thirty five is. So that would have been either this candle or this one or this one. Nah, it it was definitely not that. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it wasn't the first big drop. It was the second one. Yeah, you were on the right spot, right over there, uh, to the right. Yeah. So I entered for the for it to kind of stay up here and, and look for the break of this little flat top. 
range, mm -hmm. but it just wouldn't give it to me. Now, I was not confident on this because one, it did not have catalyst on the day, but it was looking like it had hit a bottom. Cause if you look at the week, I mean the uh, daily chart oh, yeah, down the daily there. Daily chart looks great right there. Yeah, it's been selling off forever. So I was like, all right, this thing's definitely gonna have a bounce back up. But I was like, well, just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna size down. So I only, I only entered what? like 10 shares but the drop i'm glad i only entered 10 shares <laughs> yeah I, I, got, I got in 30 shares about the same about the same area on this candle except a little higher i was i got it 2054 almost at the top but i thought it was going to break this pre-market i thought it was at least going to go to that 20 2067 2075 and try yeah. to push for 21 it couldn't even do that it just collapsed so i had to get out of it well what I was looking for is just a quick pop through. I wasn't looking to hold this one because it had no news. So I was looking for there's a big wick up and then a failure. So I could just get that quick pop and then sell. Yeah. I wasn't looking for this one to go any higher. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't looking rip. for a big run. I was just looking, like I said, I was just looking for, you know, a dollar or two rip up to yep. that, uh, up to the 10 day. The 10 day moving average on the daily is like 23.97. Yep. But couldn't do so it. That you took a loss on that one as well. Yeah, yeah, I took yeah. a little loss. Uh, that, well, it was bigger than I thought it was gonna be on those ten shares. The ten shares, man, twenty twenty one bucks. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Never mind. That was Blaze. Okay. Blaze. BKK. I only lost like eight bucks on that. So I'm glad I managed that. Cause boy, if I would have took a little bit bigger share size, like 50, 50 shares, oh boy, or a hundred, that would have hurt. Um, yeah. But anyway, what else did you trade? KZR was another one. I saw it pop up on the scanner and had this nice rip. And then it pulled back on the one minute. This is exactly what I was looking at right here. This sell off. Are you on the right day? Oh, yeah. One day, one minute. Yeah, you good. So I had that big run up 11 all the way up to 1423 and then had this sell off. And it looked like it was going to start breaking the trend line. It held up a couple of candles there on the one minute. So I ended there 30 at 1250. And it come pushed all the way up to uh, 1275, but it just slammed down, gave it another shot. 1275? And... That's VWAP. <laughs> Is that where the VWAP was? Yeah. I uh, did it again there. Got slammed again there as well. I won yeah. another time. So that one ended up being an $8 loss. Stop it now as soon as it cracked below this support. It had nice support there. It was holding for, you know, about 5, 10 minutes and then just let out. They got a hold of it and just let it go. So yep. that was my other trade. So red on the day there. Been a sketchy week i have not been able to hit very well on this week did you trade anything else the that's CC, it the cei yeah the cei is on there but i didn't trade it oh, okay uh i have one more trade and this is the one that me and one life were talking about i had a perfect entry and i just let it go because i don't i wasn't looking to hold this stock this ipo stock sev yeah oh, i saw that one was starting to break before i got off the stream i was saying keep an eye on this for the next couple of days Wow, so, that thing really went off. Yeah. So let me show you where I got in. So it ripped up on the open, and uh, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to wait for it to come down. It came down, and um, I literally bought this little dip here, right? right there at the tip? Yeah. So I bought this dip perfectly. My entry price on SCV was $24.96. That's so, about, it's close. It's right there. Yeah. So... 2496 and it came up and it failed vweb so this that green candle right there if you go keep going that it one. failed vweb there no you're on the right oh, one okay. and i was like all right well it's getting weak here so it's not doing what i wanted to do so i went ahead and sold and it was a good move that i sold because i you know i didn't want to take that because it could have possibly did what everything else did today went down oh yeah absolutely but later on in the day i see a message from one life that said burp the worm yeah. And I was like, the worm? What are you talking about? And so I'll go out here and look. I go out here and look at this stock, man. And my entry at twenty four ninety six. Ay ay ay. Yeah. I, I, I just, I'm just not a holder, man. I'm it's just not a holder. Eleven dollar rip. It, in fairness, yeah. though, it did take. Let's see, what twenty four? Oh no, that's not eleven dollar rip. That's a twenty one dollar rip. It did take it all day to rip twenty one dollars, but still, that is a nice move. Am I doing that math? Yeah, twenty to twenty to forty six overall. That's a twenty six dollar rip on the day. Yep. 
So wow. I, I missed out on it. It didn't want to do what I did. It, it didn't want to follow my plan when I wanted it to. So yeah. look, I was like, look, not following my plan. I'm going to get out green. And that's what I did. I just took the profit. Because, I mean, that little green move right there was like a $2 rip. Yeah. Like $3 rip right there. So I was like, look, I got uh, enough. You know. You know, in this in this market, man, if you can get one or two dollars right now, that's been good this week. Yeah. You know, that, we like we had. Let's see. Here's the list, the scanner. And let's see. We got yeah. Twenty seven percent was the highest scanner today. For some reason, Sev's not on there. I'm sure Sev is actually the highest scanner, but fifty four percent. Yeah. That it's still ridiculous. How much is it? Huh, it's not showing up on the top NASDAQ gainer list either right now. What, Sev? Yeah, maybe on the NYSC. Yeah, it's on my it's on my scanner. Uh seventy two million shares outstanding. But man, that thing took a absolute rip. But it's okay. Oh, yeah, I there took it is. a percentage. It's, on there. it's just not showing me for some reason. It's not showing me the mark percent change. Um, that's because we're in um actually I don't know why. Oh, it's doing that for mine too. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, yeah, it doesn't it's matter. obviously it up matter. quite a bit. It's more than twenty yeah. percent. That's for sure. It doubled in price, so it's got to be over a hundred percent. Yeah. But that's the first hundred percent I think we've seen all week, or at least a sustainable hundred percent. Yeah, because it's definitely holding its gains. But it was an IPO, and yeah. that's one reason that I was kind of scared of it because being an IPO. You know, it's uh, Sonos Motors. It's a motor company. And um, I was like, well, you know, I've seen IPOs rip down, you know, after taking that big move up like that from 25 up to, what's that, the 32 on the that opening rip? Yeah. I mean, I've seen them definitely dive down. So that's why when it came up to BWAP and failed like that, I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and get out. Now, if I had more money to trade on today, maybe I would have, Traded it again if it would have went my way, but it, it didn't follow my plan in the time that I needed yeah, man, it. So you, you gotta stick to the plan. You got profit. You know, you left yep. a lot on the table, but you'll catch it next time. Yeah, or maybe you won't, but hey, who knows? Well, <laughs> just hey, gotta... take my percentage and then talk. Get get one one life in my ear yeah, for exactly. a couple of days. I'll be all right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. As long as you're taking your ATM, your little slice of the pie out. Doesn't matter what one life or anybody else thinks. Yeah. Well, tomorrow this may bring some hype into the market. Now or back into the market, seeing another big ripper. Uh, we were we were in a very hot market the last two weeks, and it just changed quickly. A lot of things are happening right now. That infrastructure bill, inflation is apparently no longer transitory, or they're on ABC and everything, talking about the mainstream media now. Like I've been saying, it's only going to continue to get worse as long as the government is spending the way they are spending. Now the feds are not putting as much money in the stock market. We'll see how long the stock market can hold up. But this is it's crazy right now. And that's you're, that's why you're seeing the volatility in the markets. You saw it in crypto markets too. Had a pretty decent little pullback. And then some of those are ripping right now. So I think we could see a little bit hotter of a day tomorrow. Especially if another IPO comes out. May, may have to start like checking the IPO list for the day too. And we see any low float IPOs on there. Just put them on the watch list. Yeah. But other than that, I ain't got nothing else for him. You got anything else for him tonight, Hal? Nope. Just uh, stick to the plan, man. Even though, even if it leaves you disgusted, stick to the plan. That's right. One time you might be disgusted. Next time you might be coming down from a butthole pucker and high from how crazy a stock uh, dropped on you. So always stick to the plan. It works out in the end of the long run. That's what it's about is wealth building. Not a get-rich-quick scheme. Appreciate everybody joining us as always. We'll be back tomorrow for some more live stream day trading. Pal will be on his channel, h h Trader. Go check it out. Link in the description. And I will be here 9 a.m. Central. You guys have a great rest of your night. Stay safe out there. Until next time.